Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our case of CO2 storage modeling using CMG software. Okay, so we will model and simulate CO2 storage in saline aquifer. So in the previous video, we have covered the reservoir, components, rock fluid, initial conditions, numerical settings, wells and recurrent. And in this video, we will continue with input-output control. So let's touch the I.O. control. We have completed actually the titles and case ID. And in this case, we will set the simulation results output. Actually, if you see this signature, it's green tick. It means that actually we have set the minimum requirement for simulation results output but that's the minimum requirement for the simulation. We have here a special case, CO2 storage. So we need to show, we need to deliver, we need to generate specialized outputs more than the minimum output. Okay, so in this video, we will, we will activate that outputs. Okay, so click this one, double click. This is the simulation results file writing, okay? We have frequency of simulation results file, file writing for the well and for the grid, okay? We can follow the default setting for this upper section, but we will change the lower section here. First for the grid, okay? Open the select, all right? And you see, we have many keywords. We have many, many variables. So CMG is very, very powerful for this case, okay? It's a very good software. We can show many variables as the output, okay? And we will define that in this video. So for CO2 storage, we need to also show this one. Tick this one, gas mass density. The keyword is DENG. It is density for gas, okay? And then also we will tick the water mass density, then W as the keyword, and porosity change due to mineral reaction, okay? So yeah, we inject CO2, some CO2 will be dissolved, right? solubility trapping and there will be reaction okay co2 will be ionized to bicarbonate and carbonate all right and yeah they will later on we will will change to minerals to create calcite so there will be porosity change due to mineral reaction so we will we will need to show as the input the porosity change due to mineral reaction. And then go down. We are also interested in showing the gas relative permeability, of course, and then water relative permeability, KRG and KRW, and also the molality, component molality in aqueous phase of CO2. Okay. Yeah, you need to go back and check your textbook, the difference bet between molarity and molality, okay? So for molar, it is mole per volume, but for molal, it's mole per mass, okay? Because it is CO2 storage, the term will be based on mass rather than based on volume, okay? So we will show the molality of CO2 in this case. And then go down, we are also interested in perm, permeability in each direction, of course. And also the pH, pH value. Yeah, as I said before, CO2 will be dissolved and it will create bicarbonate. It's acidic, okay? So we need to set, we need to know the pH. And also, Poros, current porosity, and press, the pressure, of course. 
by the way press is the default setting so we will always show the press and then go down gas saturation by default it will be shown so sg already ticked but i'm also interested in this tree the dynamic trap gas saturation for gas relative permeability hysteresis gas saturation for krg hysteresis and residual gas saturation for krg hysteresis so you see cmg is ready for co2 storage case okay by default so oil saturation will be shown as a result but we will not need that we don't have oil component in our case so i will untick yet to save the simulation time and then let's go down water saturation okay but i'm also interested in water viscosity okay we have water in our saline aquifer water will be contacted with co2 and of course there will be viscosity change during the entire process so i i'm interested to know that so v i s w will be ticked and then all also this one mole fraction of co2 in aqueous phase of course right mole fraction of the co2 as well as the mole fraction of CO2 in the gaseous phase. And then lastly, I think the global mole fraction of CO2, global for the entire aquifer. Okay, so we can click OK. If you want to select all, you can, but of course it will take too long for the simulation to to produce the result okay there will be many 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 calculations required in order to show all the selected results so i don't recommend you to select all or deselect all you just you just tick what you need to show click ok all right and then i will add something okay this is for if you open the drop down menu you can set for the grid or for the well specifically the entire reservoir special issue or flux sector we will need to set the well the date as per default click ok and for the well okay we will open the select you see, we have many variables again, but I'm interested in okay. Let's go down. Okay, let me check for a while. well values for all layers let me find that first or not here maybe here i mean this one open the drop down menu it will be well values for all layers at reservoir and surface condition layer all downhole i select this one okay well values for all layers at reservoir and surface condition that's the setting for the well and then i add one more but it is now for special issue click ok all right and then open the select menu expand All right, it's going to be interesting. OK, here we will set this one. 
starting from here, everything with greenhouse gas or GHG. Okay, so we will show the CO2 in aqueous ions. Of course, right? We will have CO2 in aqueous ions due to solubility trapping. And then CO2 in gas form, CO2 in liquid form, okay? And then CO2 as precipitated mineral, okay? We will have mineral trapping as well. CO2 as supercritical fluid. And also total CO2 trap. That's the main thing that we want to know, the total CO2 trap in our aquifer. Okay, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Again, you can select or or deselect all. In my case, I will click okay. Okay. So from here, we can click OK. I will save. And lastly, for the text output, double click. OK. And we can follow the default setting. For this one, none, no variable, none. But we need to check this one. Write out CO2 statistic as the output file inventory CO2. Okay, we want to know the CO2 statistic as well. So as the text output setting, we tick the write out CO2 statistic to be produced as the output file. Okay, so click OK, and then click Save, Let's change to 3D view. Yeah, all right, I think everything else have been set up. And in, in the next video, hopefully we can run the simulation and we want to interpret and analyze the result. Okay, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. I think it's, of course, it will be useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next CO2 storage using CMG videos. Thank you.